Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a super simple and delicious guacamole recipe. It tastes really fresh and the lime juice makes it nice and tangy and it makes a great afternoon snack for you and a friend. So hopefully you can follow along. For this you'll need two avocados, two limes, a tomato, a few stems of coriander, a red onion or a shallot like I'm using today, a chili and some salt and black pepper. It's really important to only use fresh ingredients in guacamole. You'll be able to taste anything that isn't. Just trust me, I've tried and it's not very good. A tip to keep your avocados fresh, once they've ripened on the counter, put them in the fridge and this will keep them just as they are and tasting just right, maybe for a week or so. So let's get started. Start by cutting up the avocado. Slicing it into smaller pieces makes it easier to mash up. Scoop it out and add it to the bowl. And then do the same for the second avocado. To mash it up, a fork works fine. Mash it up really well. Next, chop up the tomato. You just want to use the outer flesh so you can remove the seeds. And then chop up into small pieces. And then add that to the bowl of the mashed avocado. Next, you'll cut up the onion. If you're using red onion, just make sure it's chopped up really finely. I'm just using about this much of shallot. I can't eat a lot of onion, but feel free to use the whole amount. Now the coriander. Roughly chop it into small pieces. For the chili, about half is fine unless you'd like it to have a bit more kick. Remove the seeds and then chop it up. Now we can add the chili, coriander and onion to the bowl. And give it a bit of a mix. And finally, cut the limes into wedges. Make sure they're juicy limes or you'll probably need more than two because the lime juice is really key. And then squeeze all the lime juice into the mix. You can really start to smell the guacamole coming together at this stage. Finally, salt and pepper. Salt is definitely good, but if you're eating it with tortilla chips and they're already heavily salted, you may not need to add as much to the guacamole. Just add some, taste it, and then add more salt as needed. And that's it. It's best to serve it up immediately, preferably with some tortilla chips. I really hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Just remember to use fresh ingredients and it'll be amazing every time.